Hey everybody, welcome back to the booth review. <laughs> I love that we do that. <laughs> um, on this episode, we are going to be reviewing Crudes 2. A New Age. Bum, bum, bum. See what I did there? Yeah, I like it. Because he did I that. like it. Mm. So, Crudes 2 um, has a pretty good um, following from Crudes 1. Crudes 1 was cute and I would like say... like seven years ago. I think it was 2013 when that <sighs> came out. Yeah. <sighs> Don't remind me, because uh, we also saw that, I think, in theaters, so. Yeah, I think you're right. <laughs> but, Crude's 1, I think, overall, was a very original. I loved it. I loved the story, everything. Crude's 2, of course, is the follow-up to it. Um, so, the synopsis for Crude's 2 is they're still trying to find tomorrow, which is this place that they follow the sun, and um, <laughs> they find this giant wall and they're like mm. and then inside said wall is the bettermans which are more evolved humans i would say Smarter, but smarter at least yeah so overall i think it was very cute so the mr betterman is peter dinklage which is Voiced am- by peter dinklage. it's amazing um mrs betterman is um leslie, leslie man so just them together was comical listening to their voices coming out. Um, you got your uh, Emma Stone. Everybody returned. Ryan yeah. Reynolds, Nicolas Cage. Catherine Keener. Uh, yes. Boris so, Leachman. Yes. Everything was hilarious again. I was hoping for a little bit more in this one. It's overall still very funny. I just thought that it went in a different direction than I thought it was going to go in. Um... Overall, I liked it. Um, the scenery, the everything like that. Like I liked the jungles. I liked the creatures that they made. Like I always like how they combine things. And there's like a wolf spider, and it's like a wolf and a spider. Like it's adorable. Um, overall, I give it two thumbs up as well. Okay. Yeah. No, it was very good. Very good sequel. Uh, was it worth seven years to wait? Maybe not. Yeah. I feel like it's like Incredibles. Like you're hyped up yeah. for this. And then it And although I liked down, Incredibles too, it wasn't as strong. It let you as down I, as just I a little bit. Um, and and this think, one's the same. I think it gives us too much time for us to like come yeah. up with our own movie, and then when it's not that, it you're just slightly yeah. let down. And you gotta try to take yourself away from that. But yeah, I agree. Like there's some things they could have done differently, but. What they did do, I actually really enjoyed. I mm-hmm. actually found myself laughing a few times. Oh, yeah, sometimes I Sometimes with these kid movies, you like the jokes could be real corny, and although these were probably corny, I, they, Master they got Master of corny jokes over yeah. here. <laughs> only, I only like my own, though. Uh, Master, but, yes. <laughs> but no, overall, it was really good. It was really strong. The voice acting was good. Yeah. Uh, not as pretty to me as the first one, I think. And there wasn't an emotional... No. Connection as as far as like I think ha- that's the like first the story. one was the yeah. story. It goes a little bit more for guys' story, which is okay. Yeah, I mean it is the crudes, but they did go a little bit more into guys' story. Yeah, it's back so you story. get a little bit more of that, which is interesting. Spoiler alert: That's kind of how the movie opens. It's like mm-hmm. how guy gets to the point where he meets Eep, Evan Stone's character. Right. So which is that nice. was kind of cool. Yeah, because it was a flashback to the old movie, and I liked it so. Yeah, it was really good. Um, we saw this in theaters, which yes. probably amped up my score a little bit, considering it's because it's not that it's a bad movie, but it's not as strong as it probably could have been. And very harsh, again. Yeah, and maybe my score would probably be, but because we saw it in theaters, and I love going to the theater, and I'm so upset that theaters are probably not going to make it through this pandemic. Mm-hmm. We are going to go see Wonder Woman, though. I don't care. We're going to work it's our best. It's going to happen. And, and honestly, and I know there's people that are concerned. We ran. In, we went into the state a brand new movie that opened mm-hmm. just the day prior, and there was three people in there, five people, five people, five with people us. in the entire theater. So, I'm just saying, and theaters I think are probably the safest leisure activity you can probably do right now. I would say they're, they're very limiting s- people. They're yeah. keeping it clean. You got to keep your mask on. So if you're not eating popcorn or taking a drink, your mask is on the entire time. Right. So. And they socially distanced your seats mm-hmm. so that you're not even really near people. So I think, like he Don't said, like the theater. 
If <laughs> At not, least one more time for the holiday season. If not, it's going to be really hard for them to reopen, so we have to save the cinema. So Just like the restaurants and stuff like that. These I mean, especially for like Wonder Woman that's going to be coming out, they had to put it in theaters and they're doing it on HBO Streaming, Max, yeah. so it's going to take a hit, and that might affect it in the long run. It might affect all these movies in the long run, so... I mean, there's their systems are ventilated, so just I would say, it's fine. See a movie. It's fine. And Don't I'm be auto. Scared. I'm immunocompromised, guys. I have an autoimmune disease, so I am mask on, gloves on, all like. But it's fine. Make sure your masks on. Wash your hands. Good You're to go. good. But overall, let's get our scores. Yeah, let's talk about the movie. The movie? <laughs> okay, so I'm, of course, we've discussed this. I'm a little harsh. I thought the story could have been a little better. Um, there is just, of course, it's a little bit of nonsense because it's a kid movie, but it's fine. Um, so I am a little, of course, harsh. So I said C plus again. Um, overall, I, I mean, you have Emma Stone and Ryan Reynolds. Come on, guys. I mean... Yeah. I think that's what saved them, um, but yeah, it's still a family-friendly movie. I would say see it, of course, if you're not comfortable seeing it in the theater. Ooh, you did the same as me. Okay. I just changed it, because, and, yeah. and it was a little higher than that, but after thinking about it more, yeah. like I said, just being in the theater amped it up. I gave it originally a B. And um, we saw it in Dolby, because, you know. Yeah, I love do. Dolby cinema. But it, it, you're right, like, just, and it's not bad at any, it's a good family movie. Yes. Um. Please support the theater if you can, but if you don't want to do that thing, if you don't feel safe, it's totally worth you getting it on demand whenever, whenever, yeah, whenever it becomes it available on. for you. You gotta support it somehow. You gotta buy it somehow. Yeah, it's see totally it. worth it then. Yeah, totally see it. Um, we liked it, uh, but I would say I would say see it no matter what. It's it's a good sequel. It's not a great sequel, but it's a good sequel. But yeah. overall, good see stuff. It. Yeah. As always, thank you for listening to us ramble about movies and 2020. Um, make sure to hit this thumbs up button, the bell button to subscribe. Hope you like our new background. We're trying to switch it up a little bit, see how that goes. And um, check us out on our Facebook page. We have some polls coming. We're going to have a poll about the holiday um, season. holidays, best Christmas movies, as you love hearing us talk about them. Um, as always, stay safe and healthy and we will do some more reviews once we get some more movies that we can watch got some coming out this friday i think netflix and other things yeah all right bye guys